all of us live in a social media world. Like I can be one person on Facebook and another person on Instagram, another person at my church and at my school. Like we have all these worlds where we're creating masks for ourselves. And if you go look at your last status update, I'm pretty sure you didn't like take a picture of yourself pooping. Like we don't, we don't do embarrassing things. I'm not gonna Instagram photos of me watching YouTube videos of cat birthday parties, which is probably what I'm really doing with my time. Like, no, I'm gonna do fun times with my besties. I'm gonna do things that make me look like I'm having a good life. And, and that's what we do. We work so hard to look good in the eyes of other people that we lose our identity. We lose who we are. And the only way to escape that cycle is through the good news of Jesus Christ. What's my prayer for young people who read my book? Uh, my prayer is that they would start a faker revolution. Like really, stop being fake. Uh, that's what I need to do. That's what you need to do. Uh, if we're going to be revolutionary in our culture, it's going to be like this. We're going to start admitting that we're flawed, that we have failures. And when people look at us and say, how are you so courageous to admit that? We say, I'll tell you why, because Jesus sets me free. I don't have to impress you. I don't have to impress even my parents or my teachers or anybody because Jesus is my judge and he's my savior. He fixed the problem I have. And so I am free to tell you that I'm messed up, but Jesus is who it's all about. It's his story. It's his world. And I want to point you to him. That's the fake revolution. And that is something that can truly change the world.